76 degrees in Boston, dew point reading about 68, the east northeast wind at 10 miles an hour. So, no heat wave in Boston. You want to blame something, blame that east northeast wind, but I don't think too many people are complaining. You know, we fell short of it. We haven't had one in two years, but it's okay sometimes to have the sea breeze cool you down. I do still think that we have a chance at least making the 80s. Uh, this evening if that sea breeze gives up and we push it back, especially with a cool front moving in, it sometimes will push back the sea breeze abruptly. Super beach days coming up. Wow. I mean, stunners here coming. Uh, land breezes, no sea breezes. Uh, the water may be a little bit cooler because when you get that land breeze, it'll scoop up the water, that warmest layer of water on top of the uh, ocean, really, and push it farther out to sea. So it actually is a cooling effect. Uh, instead of an onshore breeze where it pushes the warm water back onto the beach. Still warm though, quiet into the weekend. We might get a sprinkle or two on Sunday, but it doesn't look like a big deal at this point. 86 Bedford, 87 in Norwood, 89 in Nashville, almost to 90 in Plymouth as well as uh, South Plymouth. And our dew point still a little bit humid here. We pushed it a little bit farther to the canal and also down near uh, Buzzards Bay. Uh, it's looking like, you know, we may snuff this out in Hyannis eventually tonight. Give it time. Well after midnight, you'll start to feel that dry air move in. 60 in Lawrence for a dew point, 62 in Bedford and 64 in Beverly. The sea breeze has brought back those dew points, the soupy ones, into the city. The warmth is in the east and the northeast. The cooler air back across upstate New York and into Ontario. Here's your front and not much to show for. We had a line of thunderstorms that was approaching Albany, but they have since fizzled. Uh, we may regenerate a few more this evening, pop up a couple ahead of this cool front, but I'm thinking at 8 to 9, 10 o'clock, that time frame, it sweeps into our viewing area here in central and eastern Mass and then pushes out through the Cape after about 10 or 11. It may even fade before it gets here. We've starved that front of moisture, I think, with the lower dew points today, so the storms will be fewer and far between. A wake up to tomorrow and a refreshing air mass and a lot of dry air. I'm pushing the numbers a little bit tomorrow. Well back into the 80s, middle 80s, and almost upper 80s, too, with that wind coming in from the west. So 85-ish, and then 83 on Thursday. Again, more of a land breeze. The sea breezes stay away, so the beaches will be equally as warm. You're looking at beach temperatures, really, as well. 62 to 69 it becomes more comfortable with an evening downpour. Quick one between 9 and 10 o'clock. That's what I mean by evening, not now evening. A beauty, still warm. Low humidity tomorrow, 83 to 87, and then low 80s on Thursday. We dip it back on Friday because more clouds will come in, 70s at the coast. And Saturday, about 80 degrees. Sunday, there's our sprinkle chance. But we get a little bit more humid on Sunday and next week, too. Hey, by the way, next week kind of looks quiet as well. Hmm. On to something here. Quiet pattern in the middle of summer. I'll see you next time.